What's up everyone? This is the wrist twist drill. In this series of exercises, we're gonna work on hand-eye coordination, wrist flexibility, wrist strength, forearm strength, hand speed. All things that we need to pass and catch, shoot powerfully, shoot quick, things that we have to do in lacrosse constantly. For the first one, we're gonna have two ends on our stick, bottom hand at the bottom of the stick, top hand at the top. We're gonna to start with our stick at hips, hips level. When I catch the ball, again, notice, I'm gonna catch it at hips level. If you don't, the biggest mistake guys make is when they catch it, it's at their feet. That means you're not getting your hands and your wrists around quick enough. So we're gonna pop the ball up six inches in the air. That's about right here. We're not gonna pop it up two feet in the air. If we do that, we're not gonna get anything out of this. Also, it's important to do each rep as quick as you can. So we're gonna pop it up six inches, go around the ball and catch it. Notice, I'm catching it again at hips level. We don't wanna catch it down here. I can do that, this, all day long. We wanna make sure each rep is full speed. We can do this with our strong hand and then our weak hand. The next one, to build off of the two hands, we're gonna put the stick in one hand. Top hand at the top of the stick. Now we're gonna have the stick to the side of our body. Again, popping it up six inches. This is a little bit harder. It takes a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more power with your wrist, but we're working on all the same things. Pop it up, catch it at our hips width, or hips level. Pop it up, catch it at our hips level. A big mistake that guys make when they do this one is they don't go get it. So it's important, we're working on the hand-eye coordination. When you see the ball, you get underneath it and catch it. What that does in the game is when we're cutting, a ball might get deflected or it's a bad pass. Now we're working on our hand-eye coordination to go get that ball. Again, with this one, strong hand and then weak hand. The final one, we're gonna work on tapping the ball off of our sidewall. Now I know we've probably all done this before, but some things that we're, that we're working on. Number one, hand-eye coordination. We're gonna pop the ball up six inches, find that spot on the stick where it hits that sweet spot and goes right up in the air. We don't want the ball going left, right, two feet in the air. We wanna work on soft hands, so we're gonna tap it up, catch it tap it up and catch it. Have control of the ball. What I don't want to see is this, popping it up, then we have to go get it. So tap it up and then catch it. Now, as you get used to doing that once, you can do it twice. Two taps, then three taps. Challenge yourself, see how many you can get in a row. But again, we're working on controlling the ball. I don't want to pop it up way in the sky. I want to have soft hands and control that ball. Let's go. And that's the wrist twist drill.